On April 4th at 12.57 a.m., Max Hodak, co-founder of Neuralink, a partner of Elon Musk, released this tweet. We could probably build Jurassic Park if we wanted to. Wouldn't be genetically authentic dinosaurs, but maybe 15 years of breeding plus engineering to get super exotic novel species. Before we go any further, I would like to interject with a self-plug. Mr. Musk and Mr. Hodak, my name is JP, and in a few short years, you will be receiving a job application or inquiry as to the status of your dinosaur park operations following my service to the United States Army. See, you'd be hard pressed to find someone as motivated and enthusiastic about this project as myself. And frankly, it's my life stream. My dedication would be unquestionable. So see you then. Thank you for your time. I didn't realize I did this weird thing where I like half blank. It, it's weird. Let's dissect this tweet. I am pleased to inform you that this is not just sensationalism. Max Hodak understands how we can build Jurassic Park using today's technology, and I am so genuinely excited that such an ambitious, innovative, and well-funded company at least has dinosaurs floating around in the idea space. Quick rundown of Neuralink. Neuralink is a neurotechnology company founded by Elon Musk and eight other partners, including Max Hodak, based in San Francisco. In 2020, the company informed the world that they were able to monitor the brainwaves of a pig as it ate using a neural trip embedded in the animal's brain. Elon Musk also claims that the company created technology that enabled this monkey to play Pong using its brain. Though the validity of these claims is not peer-reviewed, if this is real, monkey. it is truly groundbreaking. In summary, Neuralink could lead the way into a new age of humanity where neurotechnology is an everyday part of our lives. I have to point out that Mr. Hodak's tweet does not specify who we is, so it's very possible that he isn't talking about Neuralink or any of Elon Musk's other companies, but rather about humanity in general. If this is the case, gentlemen, then you should expect to see me in front of a board requesting funding for this dinosaur project in a few years time. Also, notice that the tweet doesn't mention anything about reviving extinct dinosaurs, something this CNET article got very wrong. This is because the world is already populated by an abundance of dinosaurs. You guessed it, dinosaurs of the avian variety. We can't bring back what Mr. Hodak calls genetically authentic dinosaurs because no DNA survived the 65 million years between us and the last dinosaurs. Mr. Hodak is referring to the genetic modification of existing dinosaurs, both by selective breeding and direct gene editing, to produce animals that, at the very least, resemble dinosaurs of the past. For a visual representation of what this would probably look like, go check out Dragons of Wales's Novasaurs on Instagram and buy their book on Etsy. I think this is the exact vision both myself and uh, Mr. Hodak share. I made a video going into greater detail of this concept back in 2016, which I will link for you guys in the comments and description. Please go check it out if you want to learn more. That's right, I've had this idea for a long time and it was my own. I'm telling you, Mr. Musk, I'm cut out for this. See, this is the way we can educate everyone on the planet about the wonders of evolution. All we have to do, all we have to do, is show them dinosaurs. Right, like that's a small task. I can't really think of a better way to get the attention of even the most skeptical people though. When I lead a company producing Novasaurs, the first 100 people on my Dino Nerds Discord server get immediate hiring preference, so go join. That server is how I learned out about this. Thank you, the Alpha. I think the, the Alpha, Pop Weedo, and Pudge. Uh, so join if you want funny memes, cool dino art, and daily dino news updates. Also, continue signing up to be a part of my Minecraft Jurassic Park world. I really need help bringing Jurassic Park to life, at least in Minecraft. Uh, so the link is in the description comments. Go check it out. In all seriousness, I don't think I've ever been more excited about something as simple as a tweet in my life, and I don't usually get excited about tweets. Twitter seems to be the burial ground of free thought. What Max Hodak casually wrote about, probably from bed at 12.57 in the morning, is my life's dream, and honestly, I feel motivated to pursue it. So here's to a future that we share with our very own non-avian dinosaurs. Ugly little bastards. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to keep an open mind, and I'll see you next time.